attacked and sexually assaulted on a downtown sidewalk. And tonight, Fort Worth police are actively looking for a man, hoping to arrest him before they say somebody else could fall victim. Jeff Paul live for us in downtown Fort Worth with the warning from police that is all new tonight. Jeff. Well, Doug, investigators say the victim was leaving a local club that she worked at when a man blindsided her right here at 5th and Burnett. They say the attack was fast and it was random, and they're worried that this man could strike again. This is a composite sketch of the man police say sexually assaulted a woman as she walked to her car after work. It is a little scary, especially walking back and forth alone. Sylvia Mendoza lives in downtown Fort Worth, near where investigators say the attack broke out. I'm kind of nervous now. Police say it started around 2.45 a.m. as the victim clocked out at a nearby club. After he passed her, he just turned around and then just ambushed her. Detective Kerry Adcock says after the man attacked, security cameras appear to show him running on West 4th, where he took a left on Lamar and continued on West 3rd Street past the library. It was very violent. It was very fast. It was out in the open. Detective Adcock says victims know their attackers in 90% of sexual assault cases, but this victim was targeted at random, and he worries the man could attack someone else. We don't want him to give him any more opportunities. Detective Adcock calls the victim brave for helping spend hours to create this sketch. She wanted to do it to try to catch the guy. Folks like Taylor Earhart and Clarissa Sutter, who work out downtown, hope that happens soon. Walk in pairs, stay together, um, do everything you can, and that, I mean, that's all anybody can do. Now, Fort Worth police say they do have some video that appears to show the attacker running away. They're not releasing that right now, but are reaching out to other surrounding businesses, hoping to get a better angle that might help investigators. Reporting live here in